you can continue to utter conspiracy theories yeah. about you know vaccines. I, I will because else. they end up being right. true about two years later. The First Amendment doesn't protect your right to say things the government approves of. The First Amendment protects your right to, to say things as long as you are not causing immediate and, and direct harm to somebody with what you're saying. You have the right to say conspiracy theories. Thank God, because so much of what's been labeled a conspiracy theory, like uh, natural immunity, oh, well, that was a thing until the vaccines came out, and then it was a conspiracy will the, theory. Will the gentleman yield? Uh, if you want to talk about natural immunity, I'll yield. Uh, uh, no, I don't. I want, okay, I want to thank you. The bill. Reclaiming. Because no one's, no one's, I'll, I'll yield to you. Yeah, nobody is suggesting that you don't have the right to utter conspiracy theories. Okay. And indeed, if everybody, there's I, lots of that here. The, the issue here is whether or not um, it is appropriate for somebody to point out to somebody that, in fact, you know, what you are uttering is Russian propaganda, or what you are uttering is... It's, you let know, me reclaim it. Let me, be, let me engage. Could, could end up inciting violence. Instead That's of, it. instead you of, don't have to take it. You don't instead have instead of change. shutting you down. Let me engage you and, okay, and go throw ahead. something out there. If if there's if there's something that government deems to be Russian propaganda about, let's say casualty numbers in Ukraine, and a U.S. citizen copies it from, you can say it copies it from the Russian website, you can do it. puts it on their website, and right. publishes it. Is that a problem? I, I, you can do it. I'm not, but right. the, and the issue is, there's, but the federal government is not saying to these social media um, outlets that you have to take it down. They're just merely pointing okay. out and that this you are is where we, yeah. is, So that is, that is the difference. This here. is where we you get... Can, you can continue to utter conspiracy theories yeah. about, you know, vaccines. I, I will, because else. they end up yeah, being right. true about two years later. Um, the problem with saying that nobody forced anybody to do anything is the CDC spent a billion dollars promoting the vaccines, and a lot of that went to these companies. We also know from the Twitter files that Twitter elected to take money from the FBI. Now, once you're on the dole and somebody, I wish this worked better with children, you know, between adults and children, you know, you like to say, hey, I'm paying for your car and you need to drive the speed limit, but that's, that's children and adults. But with the FBI, once, once they start paying social media companies, with the CDC, once they start paying social media companies, then we can see, we can see from the Twitter files that those companies start bending over backwards. They create portals, special portals for the U.S. government to have their cases come before the social media company and get a special adjudication. You don't call, if you're the government, you don't call customer support line. Hell no, you're not going to do that. We've given, uh, you know, the government, the executive branch, authorized by Congress, given hundreds of millions of dollars to these companies. They're not going to say, oh, take a number, call customer support. So this is the problem that we're, constructively, by taking a little bit of this and a little bit of that and, and some from here and some from there, the federal government is violating the First Amendment rights of people. It's happening. You can sit here and deny it. I, I wish the, uh, the, more of the amendments from the other side of the aisle were offered in good faith to make a better bill because there definitely needs to be a bill uh, and it's sad that it does, but we've allowed through authorizations and the money we've given these agencies uh, and by just neglect of oversight, we've allowed them to evolve this model where they can just basically shut people down on social media. And it's the government doing it, using the money that Congress has authorized and using the relationships and by trying to creatively uh, encourage the social media companies to apply terms of service, which, and, and by the way, I'm not saying that the government can't get on social media and have their own platform, have their own user account and put out their narrative. That's the way it should be. There should, if there should be any disclaimer on social media, it should be, this is a U.S. government narrative. 
That is one disclaimer I would be in favor of putting on social media. Because more often than not, they get it wrong, but you should know when your taxpayer dollars are being used to influence what you think and what you believe. 